Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Granite staters bundled up against bitter cold. Wind chill dive below zero as frigid air moves in. Granite staters battled cold temperatures and colder wind chills Thursday as frigid weather moved into the state. Some school districts delayed the start of classes as wind chills fell to below zero. In Manchester, there were no delays and children were bundled up against the cold as they waited for their buses. For Nafati Songyu and her children, winter is a lot different in New Hampshire than in their native Congo. She said, it's very cold today. Those who had to venture outside made sure to dress in layers. Extra shirt, a thicker hat, said Allison of Manchester. I tied my scarf extra tight. I'm just going to stay in once I get back from work because it's just too cold mm -hmm. to do and be outside and do anything, said Mary of Manchester. For some such as Manchester Department of Public Workers employees, Staying inside was not an option. A supervisor said when it gets this cold, workers are supplied with warmer gloves and something to cover their faces. Outdoor workers are also rotated to make sure they spend some time indoors or in the warm cabs of construction equipment. McIntyre Ski area in Manchester was open Thursday, but lessons were canceled because of the cold. But with this being New England, many residents said they weren't about to let the bitter cold change their routines. A couple of layers and a scarf and iced coffee, of course, said Tara of Manchester. The frigid weather is not for cast to last for long, while it will extend into the weekend. By early next week, temperatures are forecast to be in the 40s or higher. And that does it for my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for another news report. Good night, everyone. Bye.